not my favourite trousers. They are, I don't know if they're linen, but they basically crease really easily. And they've been ironed. You can see the creases. Um, they're and other stories. I got them last October. Literally, favourite trousers. So comfortable. And I think they're still available on their website. Um, so I'll link them down below. If you're interested, I went for an e, uh, a Europe 40. Um, I think they fit true to size. Anyway, I wanted to show you because I've worn them so much. They've all ripped in the like groin area I think it's just where my legs have rubbed them together over time like I said I've had them since very early October last year I live in these trousers and when I first saw these like holes that had formed I was thinking okay well they're still on the website I'll buy a new pair but then I don't know I just thought like why am I doing that like I have very basic sewing skills so I think what I'm going to do instead is get maybe some I might even have like an old black top somewhere or if not, just find some fabric, basically, put it on the inside, and then make myself, like, a new lining with it. On, but I don't really know how to do that. Like, do I put some new fabric on the inside, or do I just stitch this to make it stronger? If any of you are good at sewing, please let me know, because I think I have the basic skills to be able to, like, do it. And I have a sewing machine as well, which I don't know how to use, but I can figure it out. So I just don't really know how to go about it. This is how it looks, you guys can see the kind of like tear and it's on both sides so those of you that are good at sewing what would you suggest because I would rather just fix these up than get a new pair it's a bit you know like the rest of the trouser is good they, still, they feel in good quality and I think that this could be fixed let me know your thoughts okay so those of you that have been following me for a while and like my perfume videos I have a treat for you today I'm going to go through with you guys because I've been missing talking about perfumes I've been missing going to smell perfumes so I thought we could talk about perfumes but I'm going to talk to you guys about out of all of the perfumes because me and Alan have quite the collection the four that I actually wear like every single day obviously I don't wear four in a day but you get what I mean like day to day work weekends these are the four that I would wear and all of them are suitable for work and then there's another two that I kind of have forgotten about um that I definitely want to start wearing more um, and I think what I'm going to do is because I, because of these four perfumes that I'm going to talk to you guys about, because they're kind of like my four top favourites, I always just gravitate towards them and then I alternate depending on what my mood is between these four perfumes. All of them are really wearable, really easy to wear for like work and day to day stuff. But these two are two of my favourites as well, but I think they've gotten left behind a little bit. One more than the other, actually. Um, but I'll go through the four that I wear all the time first. So my most worn one is another 13. Just picked up a new bottle recently because I can't live without this perfume, basically. I think if I could only have one perfume, it would probably be... Oh, that's so tricky, though. Okay, if I could only have one perfume, it would probably be Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mao, but we'll get into that in a minute. But for an everyday scent, another 13. It's just my go-to. It smells really nice, like soft warm cotton it's very fresh but it's also it's not fresh in like a citru citru citrusy way it's fresh in like a fresh bed linen fresh washing way but it's like really cozy and warm like very comforting but light it's such a good combination this is just a great one day to day so now the 13 probably is my number one but if i could only have one it would still be portrait of a lady i think the reason i'm talking about another 13 first rather than portrait of a lady is because another 13 you could wear every single day and you wouldn't get sick of it like i don't think i would get sick of portrait of a lady every day but it's a stronger scent and i think when i'm thinking of like an everyday perfume i'm at work five days a week obviously not at the moment working from home still but generally when i'm at work this is really good because it's very light and very subtle. I can enjoy the scent, but I know I'm not going to be bothering other people's noses with it when you're sitting close to people, which again, I just can't imagine doing now when we do eventually go back to work. Um, this is a good one. Portrait of a Lady is, oh my God, it's just so good. And it, it brings back a lot of memories for me as well. So Portrait of a Lady is like a, it's quite strong and it's almost like, I always describe it as a rosé wine smell. Because mine is a little bit old now, like it's very nearly at the end. You're not going to be able to see it, but there's, it's maybe up to like here. So probably we'll by the end of the year get a new one. And this is a tiny bottle, but this is very expensive perfume. 
um, and a little bit goes a long way. I probably use two spritzes when I wear this and that will get me through the whole day. Um, getting back to it, I describe it as a rosé wine scent. When you smell it, you can almost taste it on your tongue. Mine has gone quite like spicy and it's a very warm scent. Um, I can't remember if it's, I feel like maybe mine's gone a bit stronger and spicy because it is older. Um, but I keep all of these like in the dark in a cupboard so they last a really long time. Um, Portrait of a Lady is by far my biggest compliment getter. When I've worn this to work, without fail someone will compliment me on it. And sometimes it'll be like multiple people complimenting about this fragrance. I just feel a bit like hesitant to tell them what it is because it is so expensive. It's like liquid gold. This is the same thing. If you've watched my other perfume videos before, I'm saying all the same things. Like nothing changes with the scent in the sense of that. It's very warm, it's gorgeous. I love it in autumn and winter, but you can wear it all year long. Um, but like I said, I think another 13 is just, it's not gonna get in other people's noses the same way Portrait of a Lady does. So for a subtler scent, another 13. They're completely different scents, but that's just what I normally go to. Portrait of a Lady is if I'm going out after work or it's a weekend, or maybe I just feel like being a bit like, I guess fancy that day. Um, the other two scents I'm gonna talk about for like day to day, Molecule One, Alan, is this? Yeah, this is Molecule One yeah. by Eccentric Molecule. I think everyone knows about this perfume, but for those of you that don't, I'll just give you a quick backstory. It's made from one essential molecule, which is why it's got that name. And supposedly this one molecule changes differently on everyone's skin and adapts to their pheromones. Now, I don't know about that myself. Like for me, if someone's wearing Molecule, Eccentric Molecule One, I know, like, it's not like it's so unique on everyone's skin for their pheromones that you're never going to guess what they're wearing. You can smell this from people, you know, if you're in the lift with them, if they walk past you, if they walk past you on the street, if it's in a shop anywhere, you're going to know this is what they're wearing. It's got a very distinct scent, but again, like another 13, it's not overpowering, it's not going to get up anyone's noses the wrong way, and you can see me and Alan both use this, and this is, I think this might be our second bottle of it this size and originally we had the small bottle so this is a really popular perfume in our household same with another 13 like i think i first started i can't remember if i had the big bottle or the small bottle at first but again just something that we repurchase um again and again this one definitely worth trying pretty much works out on everyone's skin i will say though is with this one test it out on your skin before you buy it because I found before, if I used to put this on my chest, I almost had like an allergic reaction to it. I would get like a rash on my chest. So for me now, I solely put this on my clothes rather than my skin, just because of the way my skin reacted to it. I love the scent though, so it doesn't deter me from using it. I've just found an alternative way to use it. So that would be something to try just in case for you. And then out of my top four of what I reach for all the time, Gaiac 10, it's very light, airy, woody. This is a Lalabo City exclusive, so it's only available in September time, unless you go to Tokyo, because that's what the city exclusive is for Tokyo. Um, so one to kind of like look out for, September's really not far away. What is it, like six weeks now? God, it is, that's crazy. Um, it's woody, it's light, it's airy. I think this is a really good introduction to woods if you want to kind of get to see if you'll like woody fragrances, which I'm a huge fan of per personally. Actually, I should have, one that I, I really need to get back into wearing French Lover. Do we have any left, Alan? I couldn't find it in the cupboard. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have two perfumes here that like are two perfumes that I want to start integrating into the mix that I've been missing out and I've just realized from speaking about woody fragrances that I've missed out French Lover which was like one of my favorites that I used to wear all the time so Alan's gone to check if we have any more um so that I can give it a smell because yeah I haven't smelled that one for ages now um but Gaiac I think it's very inoffensive however there was an occasion where I sprayed it on myself at work for lunch and um, just had it in my handbag I mean it's so small and uh Oh, thank you. Here's French Lover. I think I just missed it with my eyes. And we've got loads of this, so I don't know why I thought we didn't have any. I think I just didn't see it. My manager did not like this scent at all. Um, so maybe spray that one at home, not at work. <laughs> and then it will kind of fade and no one else will smell it. 
Oh, that's so nice. Okay, definitely one I need to start integrating back into wearing is Frederick Mao's French Lover. Very, very woody. Like, smells almost like what you would expect a woody tree to smell like, like a pine tree. Would it be a pine tree? I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna spray a little bit. I'll just spray it. Okay, now I've sprayed it, I really have a reminder. It's a very grassy green woody scent. Unisex, as all of these are, I personally, like I know I've said this so many times, but like to me, like things shouldn't be male or female. Like I think everything should just be unisex. So all of these men, women can wear them. All of these Alan and I share. Um, so really suitable for everyone. French lover, definitely one. Now that I've been reminded of it, I need to start integrating into wearing more and actually that will be so nice in autumn when it starts to get crisp because it's a very crisp scent okay the next one that i need to start integrating more is one that i forgot about but it's really recent purchase so alan actually got me this for christmas just gone and i pretty much wore it i mean you can see considering he got it at christmas i wore this you might not think that's much that's been used but we went into lockdown in march so i've really not been wearing perfumes since then so really that use is just from like Christmas time like January February March and I managed to get through that so at the time that was one earlier this year that I was like really really into um, and I love the back of the bottle picture it's really pretty there's a swan there this is um, Diptyque's L'Ombre Dan Le I'm not very good at French so I've probably said that completely wrong so I'm just going to show you guys so that you can see and this is Diptyque's basically perfume version of um the candle bay by bay it's really really nice i find it hard to describe this one it's kind of like sweet and fresh and again i think would be it's just not offensive at all this one like i think definitely when i'm wearing perfumes at work like i wear them for myself i don't overdo it i don't want to walk kind of like around and or like even in the street i don't want to walk around and people can still smell me from like five minutes ago um, but Portrait of a Lady gets a lot of compliments. The others, no one really talks to me about because they are so subtle, just on the skin. Um, that's another one of these ones. Really nice just for yourself. If someone was to get close, give you a hug, they're gonna smell it, but it's not overpowering, it's not inoffensive. Um, may not be to everyone's cup of tea as opposed to something like Another 13. I can't imagine someone not liking that, but if you're one of those people that actually doesn't like it, let me know. Um, but yeah, this is a nice one that I think I just kind of forgot about because I've had these for years, whereas this is a newer one for me. But clearly I liked it a lot, used it a lot in, before lockdown. So again, that's one that I want to make sure that I have readily available. And then last but not least, the one I need to start integrating into what I'm wearing again for sure is Byredo or Beredo Gypsy Water. This was the perfume that did it for me. This is the perfume that got me down the road of loving perfumes and scents and fragrance and exploring niche options. Byredo or Byredo, I'm not sure how you say it. Now this isn't so niche, but at the time it was. Um, we've been buying gypsy water for quite a few years now. This is definitely like a newer bottle. You can see how much we've used. It's quite creamy. There is vanilla in there and I think so anyway, because that's what I can kind of smell just reminding myself of it. Um, so it goes quite creamy. Um, I'm not sure if it is vanilla though because sometimes I find vanilla scents on my skin go very sickly and this doesn't do that for me. Like it's very creamy, it's very warm but it doesn't go too sickly. Um, Gypsy Water again is one I think everyone will love. Again if you're one of those people that actually doesn't like it definitely let me know in the comments but I'd be intrigued to see what you guys think about this one. Those of you that have smelt it and kind of gone on to it. It's a great everyday scent. I think probably because Gypsy Water was one of the first kind of like more niche brands of perfumes I went for. When I first got it, I think I probably wore it every day for like, I don't know, maybe eight months. And for me, that's like a very solid amount of time because I switch up my perfumes depending on my mood every day. Um, so definitely one I want to start wearing and just committing more to over autumn and winter this year when we essentially start integrating back into the world again. Oh, I'm like out of breath. I'm so not used to talking that much these days. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of seeing those top picks from me, like the top four I wear all the time, the three that I want to 
integrate back into wearing more let me know what perfumes you love at the moment i'm definitely like i said kind of missing that going and smelling new perfumes and exploring new perfumes and the way they make you feel and learning about them and learning what's in them and why they smell that way and looking at the packaging like i'm starting to miss that and it's been a long time since i've had that so i think once we're you know i was gonna say free again but we kind of are now in london like they've eased a lot of the restrictions on lockdown it's just we're still limiting you know how much we go out um and then even when we do go out it's very much like you know where can we walk within half an hour kind of thing we were cycling which made things a lot easier not into central london but just around kind of like west london but my bike broke and died so i've ordered myself a new bike i've ordered a tokyo bike so those of you that have a tokyo bike let me know because i'm so excited about it i keep it's on a pre-order thankfully i pre-ordered it in the last batch of pre-orders so it should arrive at the end of july or by the end of august so quite a four week period and i've been waiting since june so i'm very excited for it um i keep on looking on like instagram at pictures of tokyo bikes it's a bit like bike porn so i think when mine comes i'm gonna just for the people who feel like that way as i do there's just not much content out there on the tokyo bike but it's just so nice to look at like i said it's a bit like bike porn so i think i'm gonna make like a bike porn video of my tokyo bike at some point when it arrives hopefully it will be early august rather than late august but we'll see and that will make it easier for us to kind of head into central london and like kind of head out more around west london because walking you know we'll walk for half an hour see where we end up but being able to cycle for half an hour you get a lot further so yeah we've not been into central london yet um but eventually we will go back in and we'll take you guys with us of course <sighs> okay well i think i might wrap up this video here i'm trying to be like a week ahead of videos guys so that if i have a really awful week one week i'm still kind of going with the videos and won't lose too much time there um i i like doing this like i'm not if i didn't feel like i could do this i wouldn't but i just need to take it slow and you guys have all been saying to do that as well your understanding has just been amazing um but it's 20 to 5 and i think i'm gonna get in the bath and carry on reading my book now, i am a slow reader so don't judge me but i'm on page 40 I'm on page 46, which is very good for me. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get in the bath, read my book, and I will see you guys next week. Let me know if there's anything in specific you want to see or you want me to talk about. I've been seeing comments for months and months and months and months about perfume videos. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you enjoyed the beginning chilled version of this, like the chilled vibes of the vlog as well. Um, anyway. I'm going to sign off and I will see you again hopefully next week. Bye.